Yeah, this is the Spooky 2 remote for the DNA um, transmission of fre uh, frequencies to transmit frequencies to your DNA from the frequency generator. Now, I have it disconnected from the frequency generator. But there's a little add-on device you can get. It's called a neodymium magnet. And um, there's a certain way to set it up, and there's actually going to be an upgrade kit available. Now, this magnet I picked up is a little bit not the specification exactly of what is going to be put out because I couldn't find the right exact specification, but it's pretty close. Uh, but I'll tell you what the specification is. Now, this is actually to transfer frequencies to your DNA. It's supposed to be the transmission. I don't know if the effectiveness is going to be how much it's going to change, but the transmission strength can be up to 12, it could be 1200 times stronger. So it might be quite a bit more effective, but we shall see as I experiment with it or others experiment it with it. But the first thing you have to do actually is you have to solder a wire onto this post right here. Now the kit's not going to require any soldering, but I just jumped ahead and I said, I want to try this right away. Now uh, you fan out the wire. You notice the wire is fanned out because it's not going to be soldered to the, the magnet. It's going to be taped on the top of the magnet. Now the way the magnet stays on top of this is with double-sided tape, double-sided tape. But the first thing you have to do is you have to take a compass as such and determine which way is north. So, for instance, if I put this magnet this way, you could see that's actually south. Excuse me. You can see it's south. I flip it around the other way. It's a distance away. That's the north. So actually the north side faces down on the magnet. And I marked the south, well the marks, the south side actually is marked with a red line from the manufacturer. So the only thing I have to do now is take some tape and put it on the bottom of this to the north side, double sided tape, cleaned it off chemically, and stick it to this, and then we stick the wire to the top of the magnet, and we put some foam on top of the magnet too. Well, I got some foam, thin foam from the packing tape, and I'll show you how that's set up. And from there, we're going to set it up on a Spooky 2 generator with the boost cable. It has to be done with the boost cable, not the standard cable. So, uh, But let me just state, the magnet strength is actually supposed to be, the specifications are 30 millimeters wide in diameter. It's 3 millimeters um, thickness, and it's N50 strength, N50 strength. Now, this one is N45 strength. So it's less, but it's slightly larger. It's um, one and a quarter inches, which is 31.75 millimeters versus 30 millimeters. And it's an eighth inch wide, which is um, about 3.15 millimeters. Now, I also have some N52 magnets coming that are one inch by one eighth. A little bit less diameter, but the overall gauss is a little higher. But I just wanted to try this right away because, uh, I don't know, I couldn't wait, you know want to see how this deal works so it's got to be set up with the boost cable but I'll show you how you know again the north side must face the DNA double sided tape you solder well the kits not gonna require any soldering but in my case since I didn't get the kit I just used the regular wire soldered it to this post and it does not get you can't solder to a magnet it's just gonna be taped down and a wire is gonna be fanned out like that like so so that it makes good conduct and then there's going to be a piece of foam on top of this because this way nothing touches it by accident, any metal or anything like that. And the tape has to be between this and the uh, wires, the, the coils down here too. That must happen too because it acts as an insulator. The magnet must face, the north side must face, must face downward. And you determine the north with the compass. The red line was the, was the north. And when I hold this compass, you know, away from it, like I could be about from here to here, you can easily determine which side's the north side. So the south side is marked with a red line. That's up. North side is facing down. Very important. Very important. That actually goes with a lot of other uh, work that's been done with magnetism by the Russians and things about the north side being uh, healing and things like that. It's... It, you know, I mean, you know, it's not in the FDA, it's not in the medical establishment. The Russians have done a lot of work on it. Actually, I got a couple books by some Americans that experimented with this stuff. There's, 
I understand why the theory is north side must go down. Don't don't miss that step. Okay, so the uh, magnet is installed. It's got the double-sided tape. Um, it's, so it's not touching the magnet itself. It's not actually touching the coils or anything like that. It's got double-sided tape. It's got the foam on the top. The foam is only to keep you from touching the magnet with any amount of metal. And the water, the wire is soldered in place, and it's touching the magnet, fanned out like that. So it's making contact with the magnet, and it's soldered, the wire is soldered to this post here. Now, I have my DNA sample in here. It's not, this is just masking tape um, that's holding the sample in there. And I have the boost cable here installed on the end of the remote. Now, I think I have this boost cable actually correct for this is marked for out one but you're going to have to determine this first on your spooky generator to make sure you have it set up the right way and I'll show you the procedure okay the spooky um, boost is connected ignore these lights back here because this is running on a second generator and this is the generator we're going to be using with the new neo didium magnet installed now it said this is just a slightly less powerful magnet but it's slightly oversized it's you know, it's in a ballpark of specification. I want to repeat, the specification is N50, 30 millimeters diameter, and 3 millimeters width. This is actually one and a quarter inches diameter, which is like 31.75 millimeters. A hair wide, dump bigger, and a hair wider in width because it's eighth inch, so it's like 3.15 millimeters. And it's N45, which is less strength than N50, but... I got some N52s coming, so I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it really is that. In other words, this should still be useful. But anyway, uh, so it's hooked up to the boost. The boost is hooked up. Now, I marked this already because I was playing around with the positive offset, and I had this as channel 1. Now, they want to make sure it turns out I'm correct on this deal. You want to actually change it to uh, uh, amplitude of, say, 5 and change your duty cycle to 99%, that'll usually say 50%, but you'll change this to 99%, and then you want to say inverse sync down here, right? Now, when you click this on, now I, I already, I have DNA special loaded in here, they'll, they'll tell you to advise you to use calibrate, calibrate, which is 50 frequency, but what you're really looking for is the LED lights, uh, pretty much anything will work pretty much, but just click it on uh you know in other words any <laughs> pretty much any what you're really looking for is to make sure the right the correct side of this led is going to be lighting up so the late waveforms are loading and there it is there it is if you notice let's turn this down if you notice the one side is brighter than the other side that top side as this thing is facing this way that side that is correct that's correct. So, now, the next step, <laughs> it's not really complicated. You know, once you set it up, let's stop this. The next step is to change this to a 50%, back to a 50% duty cycle. And you want to have plus spike, plus spike, okay? Plus spike, inverse sync, plus spike. And, you know, they recommend 5 volts because actually that's 10 volts on a boost. I'm going to put 7. I don't know. That's just me, okay? But actually, per instructions, it's 5 volts. Um, and the other thing they said that you can also run, this also need the spike length needs to be, let me let me do double check what this is again. i got to double check. Yeah, just double check. The spike length over here is 8, okay? Now you can run it like that. You do not want to run any negative spike, only positive spike. You want to make sure the north side of the magnet is facing down, down. You want to make sure these are set up correctly. In other words, when you use the 99% duty cycle, I'm repeating myself, this light on that side is going to be the one lighting. Not not the bottom one, this, this one, as you know, the unit's facing that way. Now, something else additionally you can use... Now, they said for frequencies below uh, 1,000, you can also use, or lower frequencies, you can also use the, uh, the multiplier. If it's 1,000 or below, you can use uh, 64 as the multiplier. 
or um, times 64 or if it's above a thousand you can use 32 now since I'm running a bunch of frequencies like some are below a thousand some are above a thousand I, I'm gonna just gonna stick with 32 you know <laughs> so I'm running DNA special and energy vitality basically this says DNA preparation to change there's your miracle frequency 528 uh, teleporting I don't know, I think it's teleporting the DNA change or something. And then here's the vitamin C. And then, uh, I don't know, I think that's a dopamine frequency or end of change or something. I forget what these were exactly. And then back to the DNA uh, miracle frequency again. End of session. Then I'm going to run en um, energy vitality. Energy vitality. So anyway, here we go. Wham. It's coming in. And I don't know if I'm going to feel anything or not. It's the first time I'm running it live. <laughs> so, um, anyway, here's the, uh, here's the lights going back and forth, you know. Now, I'm a person, I don't really feel nothing. With, some people have this sense where they can feel things, you know. I guess I don't have ESP or something. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. I don't feel nothing, to tell you the truth. I don't feel nothing. But you're, you're not necessarily supposed to feel nothing. Some people will. Some people will. Now, that's that should be sufficient power, though. Like I said, I, I normally you put it on 5, 5 volts, because it's actually putting out 10. I put it on 7 with the boost cable. So, because, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I realize I have something else set in here wrong. That's probably why. See, this is not moving. I need to change a couple things. I had some old settings in here. And you know what? That's why you got to watch this deal because I was working with some other things with pulse and all this other stuff. Let me stop this. Let me stop this. Uh, let's take this off. I had the gating on there. And um, let me take that off of there. All right. We should be cool. Let's get it back on again. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now, um, that's originally, you know, this should be running a DNA special. This is something I talked about in that Joan Rivers uh, video. Joan Rivers, are you watching this? You know, she's one that's actually wants to live forever. You never know, man. This thing could be very powerful. Now, what's supposed to happen with this is that... Um, uh, you know, the, the alleged settings on this DNA special, it's, it's the miracle DNA frequency, the 528, it's supposed to be transporting some of your vi vitamin C um, into your genes, basically, which is, you know, almost like a youth hormone, I'm thinking, wow, that's cool, and energy vitality, so I don't know if this, I, I mean, I'm, like, I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, this flat out works, I'm an experimenter, you know, and uh, just remember, like, you, know, you saw here live, that I forgot to change one of my settings um, from the other, because I'm running gating on the other generator. Um, you know, just make sure you have, you know, if you're not, if you're in doubt, you might want to just restart the spooky program and start from the beginning. But again, it's, uh, you know, on a 50% duty cycle. Oh, you know what else I got on here too? Offset. Crying out loud. I didn't realize this. See, I got this from my other uh, my other deal here. Offset. There you go. There you go. Sorry about that, but you know, I was actually been using this so often. I've used this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Leave the standard settings alone. Um, I'm not going to be running any offset or anything like that. Um, I have offset going on the other generator because, you know, hopefully I'm, not, I'm probably confusing people now with this and I probably lost people, but I'm running 100% positive offset on two separate remotes on the other generator on different frequencies, node your frequencies and things like that. When you run this boost cable with this setup, um, and you're running like the harmonics, Especially when you're running the harmonics, you don't want to use any positive offset. Uh, if you're using a positive spike and you're using the north side of the magnet, that's sufficient. So, 
there's uh, I don't really know how well this is all going to work, but um, I do know that my energy levels are pretty damn good. A lot of times I'll work out for two or more hours on a cardio machine, even after midnight, because I've been busy all day, and I seem to work out really late at night, and I'm like, you know, I kind of delay, a ton of delay, and I wind up starting really late. I know I could probably be working out three, four hours a day, but I'm, I don't have the time to do all that. But um, what I'm running here is DNA special to repair its uh, DNA, uh, teleport vitamin C right to the DNA, and energy vitality, which is the 10,000 frequency, the last frequency, which is, you know, it's, it's a pretty s solid frequency. That's something that John Crane, uh, Royal Rife's assistant, you know, came up with. So um, hopefully I didn't keep confuse people because um, on this video, because I've actually added a few more things. And you saw it live the first time I've actually ran this. And, um, you know, from you just saw the couple things I did here was I forgot to um, change back some of the settings. Uh, so you want to run, uh, like, like if I get out of here, you know, this would be a 50% duty cycle, amplitude. Five should be sufficient. I put it up to seven. Offset is zero and zero because you're running the boost cable with, um, this, the harmonics, and most of the frequencies are pretty low frequencies, so I'm running 32 Moiv multiplier, it's uh, inverse sync on the second output, and it's plus spike, plus spike, and once I determined which way the boost cable goes, I have it marked, this one with the tape will go to out one. Yeah, it is kind of technical in some ways, even from an end user. Uh, but just, you know, if you look at this video, you can look back and rewind it and look at each step. So it's not like I'm, you know, you, till you figure it out. And uh, there are instructions available. So, um, and when you get on the uh, Spooky2 website, um, this product is actually not offered yet. I think it's going to be out in about two weeks. But this is my, you know, this is basically the same damn thing. Um, using a magnet that's very close to specification, it's set up the same way. It should work pretty close to what the original specification is. But this will be available in about maybe less than two weeks if you look on the Spooky website. And um, it's hard to say how much more effective it is on be on a person. I, you know, I I don't want to sit here and say this works for sure because then I'm basically telling people. You know, it's it's a treatment treatment. I'm just saying, I'm doing it. But the technical aspect, the technical specifications is that this thing has got like a 1,200 times stronger transmission output. And so you might, you know, it should actually do its thing. But what's really going to tell what how this is going to work is when end users say, hey, wow, this worked on me, you know, and, and the word gets, gets out because... There's an old Roman saying, uh, the truth is mighty and the truth shall prevail. So, you know, if we're sticking with accurate information and the truth, which I think this is very truthful, um, people will eventually find it out, find out for themselves and, uh, you know, <laughs> so be it, so be it. Uh, me, myself, I'm not afraid to make a decision and try things. So that's just how I am.